The Annotator for Clinical Data Configuration Editor is used to build a cognitive model for a specific domain. This cognitive model, also called a cartridge, is used with the Annotator for Clinical Data to derive insights from unstructured data. The Annotator for Clinical Data Configuration Editor also allows users to reuse models created by others to jumpstart the creation of their own cartridge. We'll start on the main page of the ACD Config Editor, which is the Cartridge Catalog page. Each item listed here is a cartridge, or also known as a cognitive model. You can choose to build on top of these to jumpstart your own cartridge, or just view it to reference it when creating your own. To create a new cartridge, the user can click New on the top right, and then fill in the necessary information and click Create. Clicking on a cartridge in the catalog page pulls up the information for that cartridge along the right side, including the owner, the description of the cartridge, and all of the artifacts that are included within that cartridge. The blue gear in the right, when clicked on, pulls up all of the information for the cartridge and allows you to edit it as necessary. There are also options for editing, deleting, publishing, deploying, and exporting a cartridge, which will be discussed in later videos. I'm going to work with the lupus cartridge in this video, so I'm going to click on it and click the edit button to take me to the artifact catalog page. On the right hand side are the artifacts currently in the cartridge, in this case none, as well as any cartridge dependencies. Artifacts are the elements of a cartridge that extract the information the user is interested in, and they build on top of each other in order to derive interesting insights. Cartridge dependencies are one way you can use existing cartridges to jumpstart your work by building off of other models. To add a cartridge dependency, you click the plus button and then start typing in the name of the cartridge you're interested in. In this case, I'm going to add general medical as a dependency. You can now see it shows in the right hand pane and clicking on this arrow expands the cartridge to show me all of the artifacts that are in that cartridge. Now, any artifacts within general medical even if they're added from this point on, are pulled into my cartridge to derive insights. On the left-hand side are all of the artifacts that the user has access to. The artifacts are grouped by their type. As you can see, we start with dictionaries at the top, clinical attribute sets next, and so on and so forth. These artifact types and how to use them will be discussed in other videos. By hovering over an artifact, you can select many options, including clone, add, and delete. Artifacts and cartridge dependencies can be removed from your cartridge by clicking the X button next to them in the right-hand pane. And I'm going to do that now to remove general medical. One artifact we provide by default in the Annotator for Clinical Data Configuration Editor is UMLS. Unified Medical Language System. This provides a set of medical terminology within an ontological approach and was originally part of the National Institute of Health. It provides 3 million concepts, 10 million surface forms, and 13 million relationships between those concepts. UMLS also provides semantic types, which categorize concepts. There are over 100 predefined types and some examples are UMLS activity, UMLS antibiotic, and UMLS medical device. UMLS pulls together over 100 health databases, which we call source vocabularies, and represents the concepts in an ontological approach. This gray box shows a little bit of that representation. For example, the top box would be a concept, and the lines would then connect the concepts to other concepts, in the black boxes through relationships. There are many types of relationships in UMLS, from hierarchical parent-child relationships to semantic relationships, such as treats or is treated by. The fields in a concept include CUI, which stands for Concept Unique Identifier, Preferred Name, Type, and Surface Forms. In the Annotator for Clinical Data Configuration Editor, you can use UMLS in multiple ways. You can see we offer multiple versions of UMLS. And we also offer one called UMLS Latest, which automatically pulls in 
the most recent version of UMLS that we offer. I'm going to use UMLS 2019 AA in my cartridge, so I'm going to hover over it and click the Add button. You can see it now appears in my cartridge artifacts. The concepts in each version of UMLS can be explored by opening the artifact, which you can do either by clicking in the catalog page or by clicking on the artifact in your cartridge artifacts section. You can see we now have um, a main page which offers us to explore the concepts. I can start by typing um, a word that I'm interested in in this search box here, and it starts populating concepts related to that term from the UMLS 2019AA dictionary. I can select one of these concepts by clicking on it in the dropdown, and all of the information uh, is then pulled up for that concept. You can see the fields um, that I mentioned are populated, such as the CUI, preferred name, types, and surface forms. And we also provide um, certain medical codes that are then associated with that concept. As I mentioned, there are a hundred and so source vocabularies that feed into UMLS. And many of these concepts are appear in multiple source vocabularies. The source vocabularies that the concepts come from are then listed here at the bottom. You can also explore the concepts that are related to existing concepts using the tree view. This pulls up the um, ontology view of the relationships within UMLS. You see this by clicking the tree icon next to the concept unique ID label. And it pops up the tree view window. In the top left is the name, preferred name of the concept that you are viewing. And the first circle along the left here represents that concept and puts it in a root node capacity. Then shows the other concepts that are related to it. In the top right are all of the types of relationships that are available for this concept. So you can see this particular concept has children. It also has siblings, parents, and it also has concepts that are related to it um, in semantically. The currently viewed relationship is colored orange and is underlined. So we are currently viewing the children of lupus vulgaris, of which there is only one, the concept tuberculosis of nose. Hovering over the circle or node for the related concept shows us uh, more information about the concept. And you can also see the surface forms of these concepts by clicking on the name of the concept. I'm now going to open up the semantically related concepts by navigating to the top and clicking on the word semantic. You can see the graph automatically um, populates with the new concepts that are related semantically instead of um, as children. And you'll notice that there are now more words along the right side in the blue boxes. These are the relationship types that uh, exist. So these are semantically related concepts, but um, each relationship might have a relationship type with it. You can filter by clicking on one of these relationship types. So I am going to click finding site of. You can now see that only two concepts have the relationship type of finding site of um, that are semantically related. You can also filter based on the source vocabulary that these relationships come from, which are shown in the blue boxes along the top. This tree view is also used in derived concepts and in attribute sets to allow users to easily find related concepts, and that will be shown in later videos. Now that I have UMLS in my cartridge, uh, I will be able to derive insights using uh, the annotator for clinical data. You can view the insights by navigating to the preview section, which is uh, found by clicking in the preview button on the top right. You can enter the unstructured text that you're interested in, in the main box, and then run that text through the annotator for clinical data by clicking the play button in the top left. This runs the text through ACD using your cartridge and the artifacts within your cartridge to configure ACD to your use case. You can see I'm now um, getting back uh, a lot of results which are shown here visually and also shown along the right side. 
The Select Annotators section uh, can be clicked on and you can then hover over Select Annotators to see all of the different options that you have for running ACD. You can see that concept detection, disambiguation, hypothetical, and negation are all automatically checked. Um, these are automatically checked because I have a dictionary in my cartridge. As I added different types of art artifacts, the uh, different annotators that go along with those artifacts would be automatically checked within the um, Annotator for Clinical Data Configuration Editor. We also have various care insight annotators within ACD that you can run. And these are tailored to a specific use case. For example, I can click on symptom disease, click the run button to then send this text back through and um, also have it run through that annotator. And you can see I now have um, dashed underlines under tired and butterfly rash on her face that are coming from that care insights annotator. This has been an overview of the Annotator for Clinical Data Configuration Editor, also showing you how to use the Unified Medical Language System.